probably. Well, hi there, everybody. Welcome to the Unthink Me Show. Do 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 with Adam and James at whatever time it's with really. James and Adam. We're going to talk about some uh, integral theory from Ken Wilber and our own kind of way of understanding it. Hey, guys. In looking at this Ken Wilber like integral theory thing, I've uh, I've been a, a student for many, 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 many years, and I've always had like a bunch of you know just questions. I don't accept it wholesale i question it i i have have like problems with the theory and so one of these problems i worked it out a lot recently because i've been working on our official like unthink me presentation of integral theory on a website and i was i was thinking a lot about a particular thing which is like how these levels actually exist in real life and how how it can be that the universe begins how the universe makes life how the universe makes mind and then once you're at this level of mind that we're at, how do these levels really work? And how can I understand them in terms of the currency that we work with? Mm -hmm. So in this uh, map here, I use some like keywords here that, that talk about the currency of your self-understanding and your understanding of the world. Instinct, lore, legend, myth, rationality, sensitivity. These become who I am, what I do, how I see the world. And that can be like, you're like, well, I don't know, like really. It can be kind of hard to wrap your head around. So I want to talk about like what those words really mean and how they holonically stack to create these levels. Mm -hmm. So this idea is like an integral idea. The holon is something that's a whole and a part at the same time. So like a word in a sentence is, has a holonic structure. It's made out of letters. The letters of the word all have their own syntax and role and a means a and b means b but when you make a word it has this whole different game going on it's on a meta level to letters it's now at the words level and at that level there's specific rules and that thing generates an image in my mind then you can go up a level to sentences now at this level at this level you're using words as the components and you're communicating meaning now you have this issue of semantics and structure and syntax and all these things that have tinny sorts of sounds to them those form into paragraphs into works etc so that's a holonic structure everything moves together you have mm -hmm. to have all these levels happening at once and mm -hmm. each of them has their own kind of conceptual domain so arriving as any old baby in the game of life at any 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 almost, young baby any you can't be an old oh, no. <laughs> that's the oldest baby there's i've ever met inherent flaw <laughs> in my motto in my nickname yeah any any infant baby and mm -hmm. you can be an old baby so the, some of these guys are old babies too is the crazy thing oh, any boy. infrared creature isn't what you are so <clears throat> let's say your dog uh wild dog you don't have language yet you don't have a mind yet because you're not you don't have four quadrants you don't have uh, a community that you conceptualize and you don't have a difference between the reality you're experiencing and some sort of metaphor for it some sort of abstraction you don't have an abstract place so you're only in, the quadrants are totally fused they're one big thing this is instinct i'm at the level of instinct this is programmed by my dna over the course of history dna got us to this point where we start we have the instinctual tissues and mechanics to communicate with one another and so the first thing we start to do is we're listening to each other and we start to form lore. Lore is just that it's pennies. Anything mm -hmm. you tell me, I take in. It goes into my mind. You tell me words, those go into my mind. That's it. I don't pick which ones. Whatever you say is true. Whatever occurs is true. Because I, I haven't learned how to do all this filtering and sorting shit. That's lore. So I could say, like, you know, hey, did you know that, like, there was this guy who, like, cut off his own leg and ate it? And you'd be like, well, I, I do now. I yeah, you're like, I don't really care whether that's true. Even if you go and look it up, you don't really care whether that's, it's just stuff. It's just data. It's lore. So lore has like no criteria. And now you're, you're at stage two magenta and you're lore beings. And the whole game is you just, you spread information. You hear information, you spread it. You hear it, you spread it. Monkey see, monkey do. There's no like creativity here. And there's only one level. It's just lore. So you're not going around like, picking some you're not like that's untrue that's true you don't do that like little you're trying you, you have linguistics at this point you're trying to communicate you're trying to understand the world around you whether you understand it or not you need an answer and so you could probably make something up 
And this is how and you that's can, just accepted. It, it's this that's, is how you can oh, fool okay. toddlers. You know, it's it's just like, hey, did you know the sun is green? They'll be like, they'll get confused. They won't even don't challenge make it. a like, toddler look directly into the sun. <laughs> well, that's that's incidental. <laughs> yeah. So uh, lore, right? So how do you start? You get more and more lore. You get this big mound of lore, and that's your world. That's yourself. That's your universe. That's your reality. You're a magical being. You're a fantasy. The whole thing. It's a little kid. You know, there's a whole thing. I don't care. You know, just information's coming. I'm, I'm making, I'm, I'm making sense of it. Mm -hmm. So trying to, as you get a little older and you start developing an ego, a self sense, you, you start realizing that you like some of the lore better. It's emotionally compelling for you. It's mm -hmm. legend. It's epic. It's big. It's cool. So all this lore, there a filtration process starts happening where you start disregarding things that don't really seem cool or significant or important. And you start accumulating in an oral tradition, usually, or some sort of tradition, you're going to keep all those things that are epic. So now the story of our people, the story of our civilization is this list of great deeds of great heroes and the glory mm -hmm. of our people. Yeah. So this is legend. Mm -hmm. And it, it's playground legend, too. You know, it's like, dude, Brian jumped over that thing on his bike. Can you believe that's the most important thing? Mm -hmm. I went and jumped off that third story thing. Can you believe that? That's legend. That's we live around that. We, we live for the thrill of legend, right? So you're accumulating legend. You have this big body of legend and you, you start realizing that like these legends all kind of contribute to some themes. We start asking, we have a lot of legends now. We're, we're about ready to get to Amber Meme. We're, we're a legendary being, legendary self, legendary consciousness, legendary abstract world, legendary community. That's what we are. And we have so much legend now and we're in touch with the legends of other peoples and we're starting to ask these like kind of more fundamental questions like what am I? What is a people? How should people be? What is the principle of goodness for a person, for a community, for an idea? What is good and bad? So we start making these sort of more value based decisions on our legends and we start arriving at these universal notions of morality. Mm -hmm. And this comes from an authority figure because somebody has to be we, we've just got out of red, so we're very into authority. This person will be the person who decides what's true and what's not true. And then they will assemble the truth into a book and they will give you the book. That's the truth. There you go. That's myth. So now we have our myth that, that is, it's a body of myths. You know, it's a lot of myths. It's the best legends. Mm -hmm. Best in the sense that it validates my universal notions of right and wrong, good and bad, truth and untruth. So I go around looking for legends that prove me right. Yeah, we're right. It's easy to see this in history, right? But we have to see this in the right now too. You know, when you're browsing your TikTok, is this legend? Is this lore? Why does this appeal to people? Is it just trivia lore? Is it something super epic? Is it legend? Is it something that validates my sense of right and wrong? Is it myth? Is it something that proves something to me, teaches me something that's rational? Now we live in this myth world where everything's a myth and it proves to me that I'm good and I live at the center of the universe and I will be saved for all eternity and nothing bad will ever happen because I'm right. Now we go through this process of stepping back, introspecting, and we start Wait saying, a second. <laughs> the important thing here is that all I have to work with is myth. All I have to, like what these, these institutions are created by religions to teach religions. And people go to these institutions, now they're schooled, they're learning, they're learning about the natural world, and they're starting to learn these logical principles that, you know, okay, we, well, if you test this and it's wrong every time, hmm, that's wrong in every case except religion. It's always true of nature, but not religion. So now it's like, wait a minute, religion isn't about nature? Religion is it, it, this thing that I believe that's, that's the center of my world and my life, it has nothing to do with the world I live in and the person that I am? That's kind of stupid. So now I'm a rational atheist and, and I've excluded myth to form my rational worldview. Do this you have to be an atheist to achieve orange? Or, no way. Or no, no. You're, you're, it's not like that. Yeah, you can still, but you will like be like, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a Christian, but I don't, you know, believe everything. That's kind of There's what some parable you know. There's, to this. It gets a little heavy, you know. I don't I don't know if I'm into the whole thing. That's kind of the rational okay. orange like a, a true believer. Cuz you know, we have all these levels in us and we can be any religion at any at any level. Amber is of course the one who is m on their missionary work. They're they're trying to sell Nearly it on sell you. It level. They're trying to get you into their membership group or exclude you one or the other. Okay.
And so when it, uh, when it is, comes uh, to a religion, yeah. What and, does a non-religious amber myth look like? Oh, good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So we live in this world that's sort of propagating orange and green. So a little baby, a, a little toddler, they're watching TV, they're going to see science stuff. They're going to see mm -hmm. sensitivity stuff. Don't make fun of people that look weird. <laughs> this is coming from uh, green, not, not, not what they were the kids at. <laughs> so yeah, they're, they're accumulating science as lore first. They're like, you know, did you know if you mix vi vinegar and baking soda, it explodes? You know, that's a legend. It's like, oh, cool. Like, do you care why? No, I don't care why. Get out of here. I just <laughs> want to mix them and see it explode. So science is, is all these levels, just as religion is. That's it. Thank you for, for reminding me of that. And shockingly enough, yeah, the sensitivity is, is pretty central. Um, sensitivity towards other identities, other, other uh, you know, disparagements in life. And we're teaching those all the way down. So you have all these levels representing green meme values, but they don't arrive at them via the green meme process. At the actual rational level, you could do science yourself. You can do logic yourself. You don't have to accept the authority of the scientific community or something because that's only arrived at by people doing experiments and figuring things out. So now we live in this world where we test myths to find out if they're rational or not. And this accumulates into a rational view of self and world. Mm -hmm. And we don't really care. Like we're kind of in denial about the existence of consciousness. We don't like that I'm in here experiencing this person. <laughs> It's an illusion. The brain just makes this happen, and you, th you think this is going on, but it's just a body generating this whole dream that you're having. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> right. What does that mean? It's, the dream is reality. This is life. This is what it is to, to know, to see. It's an illusion. So being in here, right? Okay, so green is kind of, hmm, I question you. It's starting to introspect and step back from rationality and say, you know, you know some of these rational facts hurt people's feelings. They aren't productive. They don't, they're not on board with the ultimate mission of empathy, compassion, productivity on an entire social level, including everybody in a fair system that everyone can win. At least if they put their effort in, everyone should be able to win at this damn thing. And so Green starts, you know, taking the rational narratives and saying, is this one sensitive? Is this one sensitive? Is this one no longer sensitive? Can we no longer watch Revenge of the Nerds because it's not sensitive anymore, according to us? If we have to prove through our experience that we're sensitive people, we can't, mm -hmm. we can't <clears throat> espouse a thing that could be insensitive. I think uh, to, to shit on green for a second, Ooh, if I may. I love it. I love it. There comes a point where you are so sensitive and empathetic to people who don't want your sensitivity or empathy. You bet. We've got to stick up for person A because person A is obviously incapable of sticking up for themselves. And person A is like, get fucked. I can stick up for myself if I want to. Like you're overstepping on your sensitivity and empathy. It's sort of that green guilt to the point of babying something else. Talking to uh, somebody th the other day about uh, when when are children allowed to order for themselves at a restaurant? I personally know a six year old who messed up an order at a restaurant and looked at the parents and said, oh, I, I really wanted this and not that. And the parent said, well, go tell the waiter, like, get up <laughs> and go tell them that that's not what you wanted and change your order. And then on the other end of get that your same ass out coin, there, you find that fucking dog. Yeah, on the other end of that same coin, I know people who just got their driver's license that aren't, the parent doesn't allow them to order at a restaurant yet. It was a little cringy. I, you know, I let it happen, whatever. It's not my business. It didn't really affect me in any way. But the kid like leaned over and like, I, I, want, a, I want a cheeseburger with nothing on it except, <laughs> except ketchup. To the mom in front of the server. And then the mom said... Oh, they'll have a, 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 a cheeseburger with nothing on it but ketchup. Oh, and I wanted pickles. Oh, and pickles. Why did you just say that to the fucking person? <laughs> so They're I scared. felt, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it, but the green side is is that can go to an ex, a, a, a negative extreme when green is trying to help orange and orange doesn't want help. And I'll go on the record as saying like the, the green. Or, or yeah, anything. Green is very like take on all the levels. A lot of the green you see is fake green. It's amber green. It's orange green. It's different. Mm -hmm. It's it's poser. That may be that may be what I'm trying to get at. Is is like real green is not virtue signal. That's a joke. Okay, it's, yeah, really, maybe that's what like, I was trying to get at. Fake green. Ooh, were there enough? Were there enough Latino people in this book? Like 
God, it's, it's a book about the Norsemen. It's like, a book about <laughs> Africa. Why? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that that's like amber bean bullshit. And, it, and then, yeah, they can put on a wolf in sheep's clothing. They can put on the guise of any level. Anyone can do any level as a, as a farce. But hmm. if it's what you think, feel, and do, if that's how you see yourself, your reality, and your environment, that's what's up. Moving past green. So all these first tier stages, green and down, starting from instinct and going up to sensitivity. This is all unconscious. We're not like deliberately like, I'm going to be a sensitive person. It all kind of just happens in this developmental process, learning and growing. But uh, second tier self-consciously starts doing this. They start saying, what are all the ways to know reality? Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, these people aren't just stupid idiots. Like, they know reality in a certain no, way. And yeah, they're no. right according to themselves. And they're moral according and to themselves. And a lot of others. Yeah, yeah. So they're all good. All these levels are good. So you, if you think that teal is about getting rid of low levels, you're, you're not teal. That's not teal. Red <laughs> is about getting rid of lower levels. Yes. As, as we see. Uh, teal loves, loves these levels. Uh, maybe can be a little pushy about developing because we start to see like there's these quadrants and I spend all my time in one of them. I don't see any of the other ones. I don't pay attention to the other ones. I don't use mm -hmm. my other cognitive functions. And so I say, I'm going to start using my other cognitive functions. And now the Myers-Briggs won't work on me anymore because I deliberately hack my brain to go into different states mm -hmm. and to pretend to be different types and to develop my different lines. And this is and you the get, true... you get better at that make-believe. Yeah. Myers-Briggs. This is the neurotic teal, the is the self-help junkie, the neurotic teal, the positivity nut, you know, this person mm -hmm. who's such a developer, such an integral developer. Yeah, it can go haywire. You got to have all these levels. But see, now we're stage aware, so our currency now is this shit that I'm showing. I think uh, the currency that. of orange is these rational facts, rational proven truths and kind of axioms that have survived the test of time and literary review and things like that. Green comes in with its sensitivity hammer. So just like orange was hammering myths out to find rationality, now orange has this rational narrative of everything, the story, the ego story. And Green comes in and starts saying, I want to be a good person. I want to be like my whole life to, re I want to die on my deathbed knowing I did my damn best. It's an existential kind of thing. Mm. And so it starts going through its rational currency and saying, which of these are the good guy thing? Which of these are truly, do I truly believe in? Who am I really? You know, wh which of these are nice to people? I'm a nice person. That's my deal. I don't just play the game. I, I'm nice. I'm, I'm going above and beyond, says mm -hmm. the Green. Right. So sensitivity is now who I am, what my world is, how I'm trying to make everything. And that's my currency here is, is sensitive facts, facts that are both true and virtuous. Give me an example of green sensitive hurting someone's feelings. Green sensitive hurting someone's feelings. I mean, yet you're, if I'm a bigot and you're letting blacks into my whites only restroom, you know, that's going to hurt my feelings. That's, I mean, Hurt my, it's going to piss me off or whatever, right? But that's a form of hurting my feelings. And if I'm talking and you say, whoa, 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 you can't say gypsy, that could hurt my feelings, even though you're right, even though you're moral and just and rational. Is that what we're talking? I was baiting. Kind of uh, I had something in mind and I, uh, <laughs> what you said I'm, does, I'm bait, doesn't make what I'm baiting you, right yeah. now. Right. Oh, Jesus. You're like I just a master, master really at baiting. it. What I was thinking of or the situation I was thinking of is the sensitive person green trying to rise someone else's level before they are ready yeah hey I, I just wrote this song tell me what you think and then actually telling them what you think Oof. it's sensitive like i i care about you i don't want you to put something out there that i don't like and no, here's no, what no. i thought I, about. I read my novel for you you said you didn't like it now i'm, I'm asking you to leave exactly uh someone who wasn't ready for the truth that asked for truth i think green could be Oof. perceived as a bad guy because they care enough to actually give you the constructive feedback Oof. that that you weren't ready to receive. That's a spine. I, because sure. I shit on I, Green I a minute ago, one. I need to give Green one. a little credit yeah. here too. <laughs> Green's dope. So Green were the sensitive thing, and we start to realize that if I want to be the most sensitive, caring, good guy, uh, good guy is kind of amber, but you know, just a great person, a person who really lived their life and really did their person thing. I start to realize that I have to develop myself, my own consciousness, my own awareness, because I notice that all these people show up at these different levels and that there's mm -hmm. this kind of level thing going on, that there's this sort of development thing going on. Mm -hmm. And I start to look, what's up above me? How are these people acting? What, what kind of things are they interested in? Is Meditation. this where you would recognize that there are higher levels, like accept yeah. that that's the thing? 
yeah, there must be higher than me because I don't know everything. And there certainly there's there is lower because these guys they I know stuff that they don't know for sure like on a meta level like <laughs> like they just don't get some things. Ooh. Well, and little I feel kids, you know little kids. Yeah, stop me if I'm wrong. The the lower levels one through four maybe five. If they saw a higher level, they would just look at it as a as an enemy. Like they're trying to sabotage something. They're up to something. If if Teal's going to be frank and come forward with Teal kind of agenda, yeah, they're going to target the hell out of that. A magenta person seeing red, I don't know if they'd understand that it's red. No, or, they don't. Know, I don't yeah. think they would understand that this is the next thing. Amber, uh, yeah. or red seeing amber. I don't. I don't know if they would understand the no. difference. They would just not like them. Yep, that's first. Amber tier, seeing yeah. orange. I don't think you'd understand so much. Maybe like this starting map to shows recognize up at teal. So none yeah. of that stuff was self-conscious up until now. None of these stages were self -con Like you weren't at orange going like, oh, the next one's green. You, you're like, uh -huh. everyone's wrong but me. I'm rational. I get it. Right. I get it. That's Especially what everyone says. green. Everyone gets it. Fuck Amber. <laughs> yeah, Amber. Uh, yeah, not, not, not knowingly putting them in the categories, but this is a person I really don't like, and I also really don't, this type of person, uh, because they're so close to what you actually are. <laughs> the first tier harmonizes with its level, its own level. I'm cool mm -hmm. with you. I might be okay with you if you're not at it, but I'm. I feel like you're a safe. I feel adult like you'd be okay with level. the right below you. Like, I trust oh you. Yeah, yeah, I I understand that they're an idiot. They're a little, yeah, they're a little behind, or or, yeah. or maybe they're kind of a jerk or whatever. Get, you, you know, however you conceptualize it. Yeah. yeah, but the one the one coming in above, it's a dickhead. So all these things that we've described are kind of how you see reality in yourself and everything. And then you get to second tier and this map shows up. This map here, not this one, but anyone that kind of tells you there's all these different ways of seeing the world. And you can kind of, you have some will to select. You have these quadrants, you have types that you act out, you tell these stories all day. Like, mm -hmm. get in there. Tell a different, what, tell the best story. Go, get, well, look at these states. People are entering these states. You only know these ones. Like, maybe there's something down here, like, teal sees this map and says, okay, here's potentials. Here's a bunch of different potentials. And so I'm gonna start hacking myself, my lifestyle, my community, my communication, every part about myself in order to become the best version of myself that I can. This is the integral developer mm -hmm. or, and others too. And that's kind of where it becomes a little neurotic is trying to grow up others at Teal particularly is kind of, that's their neuroses. So now this is our currency. Levels is our currency. States is our currency. A person in the second tier sort of natively understands that there is this strange connection between there's some strange thing going on here with there being a person in here reflecting an exterior and that exterior reflecting the person and the collective reflecting the individual in both cases. Like you kind of start getting this weird meta pattern and you start conceptualizing things in ways that are kind of consistent with this map that we're presenting you. And this idea that like, it isn't an exclusionary thing to see levels of development. If mm. to understand that a child has to be treated like a child is is not lacking in compassion. It's It's the opposite of that. Walking on eggshells around red is how you deal with red. It's how you deal with it. So a new form of compassion, a new idea of the self, and it's no longer the case that you can just throw everybody else under the bus and say everybody's wrong about everything. I get it, and nobody else gets it, and that's the deal. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. That's the issue. No, we're all we're all getting it. Everyone gets it, and this is what this is the outcome of that. Or engineers is like we we only have this little bit of wiggle room in here to play around mm -hmm. with this. We don't grow up other people. The second tier is growing up ourselves, or waking up ourselves, or cleaning up whatever you know your task that you need to do. Reass now that you have this map, you have to reassemble all this stuff, and that's also downward looking. You know, working on your mythology and your lore and your your legend, and trying to shape that into something that's more consistent with an understanding. So then, so what's your point? So then. Um, <laughs> Every level individuates and integrates, you know, individuates itself from identifying with that currency mm -hmm. and integrates that currency into what they are now. So we, we understand that I am molecules. I'm just molecules. I'm mythology. I'm just mythology. But it's ordered in a way that you can now talk about the higher level order, the rational order or the body of Adam. Adam being a person, not just a bunch of molecules. That's almost a silly way to conceptualize Adam. <laughs> So now we're at the second tier, we kind of get that the range of consciousness, the spectrum of consciousness, the spectrum of states and stages and quadrants and everything, 
And as we started to perfect that being, using all of our cognitive functions, being present and awake through life as much as we can, we start to inhabit these third tier stages. The currency of those, I don't really know, affinity or selfhood, you're kind of, the currency is kind of what you think you are in this whole game, in this reality thing. And I think that as you move up in that, the currency changes, like the nature of the self. So moving from second tier to third tier, the currency is kind of more of a change in like your affinity or your overall sense of reality. So your currency kind of becomes states more than anything else. And so, yeah, you have your, your teal worldview or your rational worldview or your mythological worldview, whatever your worldview is at that level. But you, we're, no matter where you are here, if you see these states, that kind of changes the game a little bit because you realize that there's this way to use your brain that, that radically changes your sense of identity and your sense of what reality in the world is because you seem to be identical to the, the hum of reality itself. And that kind of gives one a sense of freedom from these molecules and this person, sense of liberation from that, because you can leave that identity. It's just a level of your identity. And seeing if you truly identify with the whole time stream and the whole universe and all of the collective of humanity, as you do this little by little, I mean, even just starting on stage nine, the way that things hurt you is so much different because you're really sensitive and they hurt you a lot, but you're not this person. So you don't, it, it's the hurt is not, so visceral it's not mm -hmm. like legendary it's it's this hurt that you see and you go wow that's deep it's beautiful it hurts like hell though it, do, it doesn't <laughs> numb you job. these don't numb you these are sensitivity these make, these make your instrument more sensitive so here the currency is kind of changing radically as you're entering state realms moving up into the third tier you're, you're entering state realms and the currency may be that subtle content and it may be your sense of identity as consciousness itself this is sort of the allure of those higher stages is like imagine that that you're you're a pod person you are the universe thinking your your goals are the universe's goals your goals are the planet's goals you're not this thing that that, that was abandoned by god somewhere you're not this thing that, that that was stuck and marooned on this planet they you're here on purpose you're you're supposed to do what you're doing it's correct it doesn't really matter because this whole thing has so much stuff going on. You're just this little tiny part of it. And the thing that you do is only really significant to you and a couple of mm -hmm. people that know about you, but it's really significant because it's all you are. That's so that, yeah, that, that's, that's uh, when radical acceptance takes hold. Yes. You realize how insignificant you are and how extremely f significant how you act is. Yeah. The actual behavior of this body in this world has an has an effect on the goals, whatever they may be, of the this order, the the thing where the universe is ordering is coming to life and then having a mind and whatever it does next, like this thing that's happening. We that's actually what we're up to, but we're just what this are you little, up to? This little tiny piece of it, and maybe we're, we're, we're we don't you know we don't see that I am the universe doing whatever the universe does. Shockingly, so big. I think Bill and Ted's bogus journey <laughs> nailed it with the, I don't know if it was a unified world or just unified country that they traveled to the future with, but the, the motto, the like greeting and, and sign off, whatever was be excellent to one another or each other. Mahalo. Mm. Go ahead. Quote <laughs> me. Be excellent to, to one another. Be cool. That's all it takes. Be Stop being a dick to someone else and no one has a bad day. Excellence takes takes effort, man. Oh, it takes a lot of effort because takes you going the, towards it. Oh, why am I such a victim all the time is how we process most of the bad things, mm, negative, whatever things that happen to us. It's like, oh, that fucking only happened to me. <laughs> Not really? <laughs> only happened to me. Yeah. The, the <laughs> small <laughs> lizard brain just gets defensive yes. about everything. Just but I'm excellent. just playing my part in being the universe being the mind I just playing my part and and that's that's like very very liberating to to understand that <laughs> the lizard brain is 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 doing what lizard brains do and that's very appropriate to being a lizard brain being excellent to one another it, yeah at every level be excellent because um we like using our energy we like doing this it's not it's not a bummer what are you going to do sit and binge netflix that's not fun we want to well, use our energy to do 
cool things. We want to we want to be legendary. We want to be rational. We want to be sensitive. We want to embody all of these currencies all at once. I don't. What, and it's what is fun? What What's the appeal of binging? Because I I'm, I'm very guilty of it. But there's yeah. no endorphin rush. Is it just that it's placid? It's that like you don't water? have to wait. You don't have to wait for the next episode. I guess just that immediate like I get it now. I mean, like the overall. What's what's the appeal and like i said again i'm not talking down about it I've, i binge all the time this is what uh, i'm saying i think you like watch an episode and you're like oh i don't want to have to like wait for the next one you're like episode two here we go that's it just, is the the gratification <laughs> of the next one i was thinking more along the lines know. of um as long yeah. as i'm binging nothing bad or good is actually happening to me uh it's happening to characters that i'm watching oh it's definitely a happy place yeah it's definitely an escapist deal Nice it's, little vacation. Get, yeah, get off the roller coaster and just watch other people ride it. All right. Well, so, uh, I, yeah, I'm working on the website. I'm working on our presentation, and, and I'm really kind of unpacking these ideas and smashing some of that at you guys. We kind of fumbled through this whole idea of, you know, this shit is so building. literal. It's yeah, so building. literal. That This is the thing I think people don't get with integral. We mean this so literally. Like, at Red Meme, you are legend. You are a selfish legend, and that's reality. That's what everything is. That's everyone. And I'm trying to kind of like say like, you know, this is how reality works, you know, try to try this idea on, try, try and see like, are you accumulating myths? Are you checking for rationality? Are you checking for sensitivity? Are you like, what are you doing when you go about assembling your narrative of reality? Again, and, as I say, every time this is brought up, no one lives in one stage. You, you're a little bit of a variance. Yes. So it's the decisions you make. And was we're this talking about decision to make me a legend yeah. or was this decision based on a previous legend? Is this decision, you, you know, and you, you know, you, you hover in your comfort zone, but, um, I've never heard a story of someone who's a single level only. That'd be crazy. That interesting case study. Let's yeah, bring yeah, it in, I mean, put it on the yeah. comments. You can find some pretty lasery people, but yeah, it's not, it's actually really uncommon to just be like a level last level. I am. It's like if you're, if your D and D character has like perfectly flat, like all of their stats, like that's not a very good character. Yeah. I've rolled that before. And <laughs> you, it's, you have it's, no diversity. Like you have yeah. no specialization. Basically everyone bullshit. gets mad at you. Vanilla. It um, uses your, your pack strength to carry their shit. It's not a good place to be. <laughs> so in the metaphor, in this integral metaphor, everything you see is light. Your eye is a light detector. You don't see anything that's not light. You don't see darkness. You see light. Well, darkness is the, is the lack of light. Mm -hmm. Integral deals with the known. We don't really deal with the unknown. We don't really care about the unknown because there's so much in the known, the visible light. So this is our visible light. This is what we can see with ourselves through our consciousness that we're inside of acting as the visible light. Underneath this, we have these metaphorical, you know, infrared is the level of life and instinct that has memes, that has holons, that generates patterns of evolutionary unfolding into tissues and organs. And then beneath that, we have this sort of what you could maybe call radio wave range of how matter forms into atoms, molecules, you know, subatoms, all that stuff. We don't really the care about the stuff we don't know The building of unconsciousness to consciousness, yeah. So the whole yeah, thing- Infrared is still friggin' conscious. It's just the first stages. And, and so we're, we're looking at this holonic mechanic of stacking by inclusion, by taking whole parts and putting them together into greater wholes and saying like at the very smallest level to the very most advanced level, pre-consciousness, this, this through is the structure of it. to post-consciousness. And this is, this is the structure of that game is it's these holons. So we have a lot to say about, you know, that transition point from life to mind and that lower transition point from matter to life those are important nodes how do holons change how do how does it go from uh physical structure to memes or dna so lots lots more to talk about let's all give Thanks. cody arbuckle oh uh, god yeah. here he comes yeah oh, James i thought Stacey. you were gonna okay yeah i yeah. thought you were gonna count down yeah okay here we go yeah yeah, yeah. The, well, that's how it works there we go we're getting okay. it thanks for listening we've been on things. like subscribe do it. Uh, ring that bell. Do it. Hit that subscribe and join our Discord of the Empire. Why is this happening to me?